Namibia has some of the tallest sand dunes in the world, and their beauty alone attracts tourists from all over. The dramatic red rolling dunes also make the southern African country one of the best spots in the world for sandboarding, the desert equivalent of snowboarding. There you go. For those of you who have never been on a board before, perfect training ground to learn a board sport. It's nice and soft when you fall, you don't get cold and wet, um, but unfortunately the sand does not melt in your mouth the way that the snow does, so you do want to keep your mouth closed when you're boarding. Sand is really, it's as if it's like um, slush, so I found that a little bit difficult, but it was amazing. The adrenaline aspect certainly is there. The dunes are much more steeper than the snow mountains. Quad bikes provide another desert experience, with no license required. Riders travel in single file and stay on the flat gravel patches where wildlife such as chameleons are likely to be found. Here we go. Another adrenaline activity that's been on offer for 20 years is skydiving. The airplane ascends to 10,000 feet, affording skydivers great views of the world's oldest desert, the Namib. You have to swing your legs out, which is kind of scary, but then it's amazing. Like you have this huge rush of adrenaline and the view is amazing, so it's really good. And we came down and he like gave me the thing to steer and I was like doing all the steering myself, so that was pretty cool. Touchdown. I will come back. Amazing! Woo! One more activity at Swakopmund gives a bird eye view of the desert and ocean paragliding. Paragliding is a great feeling, being above the dunes. If you haven't done it before, you might feel scared. But once you get started, you won't want to stop. You feel like you have wings, like a bird. Tourism increased after Namibia became independent of South Africa in 1990. And new activity niches like these were developed, attracting adrenaline junkies from around the world. Maria Galang, CCTV.